Woke up this morning, got some gabagoo. Then I woke up the next day and got some gabagoo. Oh, there you are. Where the hell you been? Been looking all over for you. You don't come to the boss. Great. Okay, we've been calling you everywhere. We thought you'd been whacked. All right, we thought you got whacked. We can't have you being whacked down in the Meadowlands. You know what I'm saying? Listen, buddy, listen. You're a good kid, okay? You're a good kid. But all due respect, you ain't pulling your weight around here. You have so many jobs and commitments to do that you can't do, okay? Now, listen. The other day, the big Ricky asked you to go and get some gabagoo. And you didn't get the gabagoo until after we'd eaten lunch. We specifically asked you to get the gabagoo before 11 so we could have it with lunch. But you were late. You got the gabagool at half past one in the afternoon. That's not, that, that's not good, okay? You ruined your responsibility there. Your income, the things you bring to the family, is nada compared to what it should be, okay? The amount of businesses that you should be extorting is way higher than the amount of businesses you is actually extorting, okay? You haven't been extorting enough businesses, all right? You understand? You understand how it is? You know, the meat shop down on the corner? You know, the guy who works there said, you came in the other day, and all you did was stand there nervously, say, I don't know how to react in these situations. I'm neurodivergent. And then you left. Listen, buddy, we're all a little bit neurodivergent over here, all right? If neurodivergent means badass gangsters, all right? That's how it goes. The only thing you should be is a badass gangster. None of this anxiety crap, okay? Because mobsters don't have feelings. That is a fact. Unless they're watching the part of Goodfellas where Layla piano bit the do 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 that that part that part plays because it's okay to feel sad about that part okay but listen you should have been extorting more businesses all right you know the pizza place down a few blocks over mickey rooney's pizzeria it's owned by a man who looks nothing like mickey rooney but apparently that's his name you gotta go extort that place, the Mickey Rooney Pizzeria, okay? I'm expecting a good amount of money from them because we need the money in the family. Listen, you ain't, you ain't been bringing enough cigars either because I put you in charge of bringing the cigars over to us here in the club. And the thing is, you didn't get the cigars over and I need my cigar, okay? I need my cigar. I don't come here and work for six to 12 hours a day to then go back home to my family or my family talk to me to not have a Cuban cigar right here smoking that thing, okay? You understand how important it is that you go get that cigar. All right, good, good. I'm glad we're on the same page here. Listen, I think there's a rat among us too and I know it's not you because you weren't wearing a wire the other day. When, I, when you got changed in the back room. I don't ask how I saw that, don't ask. Listen, I think the rat between you and me is Big Tony, okay? I think Big Tony's the rat. Now, Little Tony, Little Tony's a good guy. Little Tony is my brother. We're not actually related, but you know how these things are. They're a brother. That's who Little Tony is. You, my friend, are not the rat, but you're not pulling your weight around here. That's the problem over here. Because if you stop pulling your weight, you know that we're not going to have you in our social club no more. Listen, listen, all right? All due respect, but you don't have the making of a varsity athlete, okay? You understand that? You understand? Good. Because otherwise, it's all through, and you're not going to be working here with us anymore. You understand that, right? Now, listen... You know, I I don't mean to get angry with you. You're a good kid, you know, you're you're a good kid, but I just uh just to sort of think uh 
well, you need to be pulling your weight a little bit more. You know, you might be like, uh, you might be like little Tony's brother, Rigger Tony. You might be like him. You might end up him sleeping with the fishes because he was going with the other family, the Mario family, okay? And we're not part of the Mario family. You understand that? Okay. Now, listen, I'm planning a golf game this weekend, all right, to get away from my wife and kids. I'm going to the golf course, and I want you to come there because there, there's going to be um, Big Gino is going to be there. Big Gino, who we we got to impress Big Gino because he's he's a big man, and we got to impress Big Gino. You understand how it is? Okay, okay, that's good. Listen, 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 kid, you're a good kid, all right, a good kid. So go and fetch me some gabagoo, okay? You understand? Now, we ain't making a western here, so calm down, all right? Now listen, you've been a good kid. I'm gonna go listen to some Frank Sinatra. Will you go get the gabagoo if you wanna stay part of us, all right? All right, that's good. Ciao.